I am your host, Jess Williamson, an award-winning business and mindset coach and a serial entrepreneur having scaled four successful businesses. My purpose is to help you unleash your unique superpowers and to build the life and business of your dreams. Let's get into today's episode. Hello and welcome back. I am so excited to hang out with you today because I have been really shifting my energy and the way that I do my marketing lately, and it's been feeling really, really good. So I thought, why not come on here and share it all with you? you. So that is what I'm going to do in today's podcast. It is going to be a little bit more strategic than my usual episodes. And usually my strategy style content or lessons is all inside my paid program. So this is going to be an amazing episode for you to really start to shift your marketing into a way that gets to feel good. Because often people feel like sales and marketing have to be this whole big chore or it feels really, really overwhelming to have to show up every day and plan out all of this content and film all of this stuff. And it is just getting more and more complex as we move through the year in terms of what we need to be doing in terms of our marketing. So I have always done business my way and I've never really subscribed to the latest hack or like these one size fits all molds or what you see on reels where it's like everyone is doing the same damn thing. And I've always created my own strategies and methods and that is in my business as a whole, but I have a whole lot of fun playing with this when it comes to marketing and just doing things my way. And this is honestly how I teach business and marketing in all of my programs. I never give you, you must follow these exact one, two, three steps because I just do not believe that it works the same way for everyone. We all have different energy. We all have different ways that our brains work in in the first instance, but we all have different businesses. We all have different audiences. And so the way that I teach it is I give frameworks, I give strategies, but I also give you the tools to really find the way that is going to work best for you and really unearth that, which is so invaluable when you can find that. That is when you don't need to keep subscribing or signing up to a million and one damn marketing courses. You know what I'm talking about. You've been there, right? And it's like, ah, maybe this is going to be the way. This is going to be the one that I've been looking for. But as long as we keep doing things someone else's way, it's never going to necessarily feel that good. So I combine my understanding of consumer psychology, which I am obsessed with, by the way. I thought I was going to be a psychologist when I was younger, um, but I don't like all the scary stuff. So this is like the best place that I could have landed in terms of really getting to understand consumer psychology from a marketing point of view, but also the way our brains work in terms of the mindset side. But I combine com- consumer psychology. I really implement around how to create action and change within my audience. And I combine that with my expertise in marketing, which is what I actually did before running my own business. And the best thing that I've ever done in my business was test and learn as well, because there are no rules in business or life. So stop looking for the number one way to hack your way to the top. And I think the best skill that you can have as an entrepreneur in business is be willing to try different things and see what works well. If you listen to my podcast last week around taking fast action, this is the whole vibe. And this podcast is a result of me taking fast action and seeing what works and what doesn't work, which is really fun that I get to share that insight with you today. I have three things that I really want to go through today. And I am going to break down each one. So the first thing I did was start posting whatever the heck I want. And now that sounds kind of simple. It's like, well, of course I'm posting it. I'm the entrepreneur. I get to decide. But 
what I see a lot of people teaching when it comes to marketing is what does your audience want? Make content for your audience. And to me, that feels just really caged in. Firstly, you're working off assumptions, which you cannot assume everything that is going through your ideal client's mind. You can have a pretty good idea, but you don't have mind reading powers, right? And then that might even just be for one person, but what about your entire audience? And when you only post what your audience or what you think your audience wants to hear from you, what you're really saying is, I'm going to post what my audience wants so that they can like me more and buy from me more. That is the vibe. And people see through that these days in itself. Now, I do understand that you do need to know your audience at least a little bit and speak to them in a way that they receive that, but it doesn't mean it should be your number one priority because what that's doing is getting out of your own body, getting into someone else's body and trying to think about what they actually want instead of just saying, what do I want to share? And When we think about audiences, our audience is built on the content, the messaging, and the personality that you share. And then they come. It's not like, here's your audience, that's the box that you have to fill, so start making content for these people. You get to create the content and then the people come. Even if you already have a massive audience, guess what? You can change it up. I changed up my vibe, my energy, everything when I learned to know myself deeper. And guess what? New people came because they were so attracted to what I was sharing. When I started just forgetting what my audience wants and needs and what will go most viral and what will get the most likes. And I just started sharing what I want to say. That is how you actually start to stand out as an expert and authority in your space, because you no longer sound like anyone else. You now are standing in your power and you are saying, I am the expert. I am sharing from a place of pure conviction, from pure passion about what I get to do. And guess what happened? The more that I simply shared what I wanted to, I started to get a ton more DMs, not just from people saying, hey, Jess, how can I work with you? I don't know what program or how I need to work with you, but I just need to work with you. But I also got a ton of messages that were saying they have been loving my messaging lately. They're really resonating with what I'm sharing and that they really needed to hear what I had to say today. And this is why I do what I do. This is why I show up here on this podcast, sharing whatever the hell I want, but you guys love it, right? And you may have even heard that the change even in my voice or in my confidence or any of that coming through in this podcast over the last few months. And that is because I come from a place, number one, from sharing what I want, not what I think will go best, not what I think will get the most listens or engagement or or land best with my audience, but just sharing from that absolute confidence. So that is number one, share whatever the hell you want and don't be apologetic about it. Number two is selling every day. Now, before you get freaked out, before you're like, oh, hell no. (laughs) But a lot of people are so afraid of being salesy that they stop selling altogether. And that is what puts you apart from being an influencer and being a business person. If you're not selling, you don't have a business. It is that simple. And so, Over the past few months or past few weeks, I've been selling every single day on my stories. Guess what's been happening? My story views have been going up. I've been getting more watches, more replies, more DMs, more engagement on my stories than ever. And what does that tell you? That tells you that sales does not have to be yuck. Sales does not have to be this thing that we fear and that we scream and run away at as soon as we hear the word sales, right? It gets to feel really good, not just from my point of view, but it gets to feel really good for my audience and the way that I share the message. So sales does not have to be pushy or sleazy. 
because when you can sell from a place of authenticity and integrity to really just serve your audience, it no longer becomes about manipulating them to make a sale. Because when we think of sales, we think of sleazy car salesmen manipulating their audience to make money. That is not the vibe, right? If you're in business, you have a business that you believe can help someone in some way. There is no manipulation when we come from a place of integrity and authenticity. To help people shift beliefs, to take action, to get to their goals faster, to whatever it is for your business, right? Why does that have to be something negative? So when I used to think of selling every day, it used to feel somewhat overwhelming because then I created this story in my head where I said, okay, if I need to sell every day, then I need to get a spreadsheet out, map out everything and decide exactly what I'm going to say and then plan it all out. So I'm not repeating myself and like all of this, right? I would have to plan it out and, and create all these slides and follow someone else's blueprint on how to sell on stories. And it just felt so messy and so overwhelming. And I knew that that was growing to require so much energy from me. But what I did instead was I really tapped into my own intuition. I really came back and reflected on, I am already the expert. So I can just get to show up and share what I want to share from that place. And it doesn't have to require a ton of energy from me. It doesn't have to require a ton of thinking or planning or any of that. And it doesn't have to feel overwhelming. And now that sounds oversimplified, right? But what I actually did behind the scenes was I did a lot of self-reflection. I did a lot of integration of inner mindset work of leveling up at every stage. And just because I am the mindset coach, just because I do business coaching and teach this sort of stuff, it doesn't mean the work is ever done. So yet every new level, we can always stretch ourselves a little bit more. And so the work behind the scenes was a lot of the inner work, but also for me, it was really going back to my understanding of consumer psychology and how we can tell stories and how we can create messaging that actually creates action from our audience, whether it's action, you know, getting them to, to take action in their weeks and their days and make shifts, whether it's taking action towards signing up for our programs to deeper integrate those learnings, right? It's all about the combination of my own inner work and the understanding of the strategies and applying them together. And so these are the things that I actually go and teach in all of my programs. But if you really want to be seen as the authority and expert in your space, you do need to learn how to sell in a way that feels damn good. You are going to need to learn how to sell, but it gets to feel really, really good at the same time. Number three, I have actually not been scheduling or pre-preparing or planning any of my marketing. And I have just been leaning into posting in the energy of it. Now, you may have heard me say on other podcasts, but I am a splenic projector. And what it means is I get intuitive hits. And this is a specific type of projector. It is how we make decisions. Mine is splenic and you might have a different one, but that for me means that I get intuitive hits and things that I'm just like, holy shit, I need to get on and share this. And if I don't in that moment, I've forgotten it. (laughs) I've forgotten it and it's gone. And I can't get it back, right? So you may have this even if you're not a splenic projector because if you have a spleen, then you're going to get these intuitive hits or just moments of inspiration. And so what I started to do was smacking it straight into a post or a reel or a video and just not worrying about it needing to be polished, not worrying about it needing to be scheduled or planned or how does this work in terms of what I'm selling right now and how can I strategically lead this into an offer. Everything is just so deeply integrated in my life right now and so congruent with the messaging that I am sharing that it all gets to work as one piece. And so I've been creating it and putting it out when I feel the energy. And sometimes it doesn't always work because sometimes my mind is blank and I'm kind of like, I would love to post something today, but I just 
nothing is coming to mind. And then that's where I get to jump into my notes. I get to jump into my voice memos. And I'm actually shocked every time I jump in and I'm like, holy shit, this is good stuff. Like, (laughs) when did I write this? Because my brain just cannot remember otherwise. So for me, making sure I note that down. And then that means that in those moments when I don't feel inspired, when I don't have the things that I want to share, I can jump in and then intuitively feel into which one do I feel called to share today? It's not like a specific one that I plan to share today and it had to be that one. I get to go into my library or my notes and just feel into what feels right for me. Because I really started to notice the difference when I started to just post something because I had scheduled it or because I was launching something and that post had to relate to that specific topic so that I could launch this specific offer. I'm now just posting whatever it is that I want and people are magnetized to that energy of what I want, but also in the moment that feels right for me and people feel that energy. And so even if it doesn't relate to what I'm selling right now or the program that I'm launching, even with this podcast, I am putting it out there and I have been feeling really cold to release a deep dive three-week mastermind on sales and marketing to really deeply integrate the psychology behind it, the strategy behind it, and also the inner work like I've shared with you today. But you know what? I'm not saving this podcast until I decide to launch that program, but I will be launching it very soon. So keep an eye out on my stories because I'm going to do a really fun pre-sale early bird sort of offer. So if this is sounding like a fun vibe for you to really start to learn this stuff on that deeper level, then keep an eye on my stories or send me a DM. I might even be able to give you an extra, extra early bird, but that is the thing. So I've been posting in the energy of it. And sometimes that means I've posted two things in one day because I felt like it literally because I felt like it. There are honestly no rules. And I cannot say that enough. There are no rules in business. There are no rules in life. No one is going to come to you and say, Hey, just letting you know, it's okay to post two things in a day. Hey, it's okay to post whatever the hell you want, even if it may not land the best with your audience. That's okay. Because guess what? The right people will come and see that later. Even if you post something up and you feel so passionate about it and it bombs, no one looks at it, no one watches it. That's okay. It doesn't have to mean anything about you. And I think it actually means more when you can have that confidence and conviction to share whatever the hell you want to share. That is so powerful. And so in all of this, you'll notice that the underlying theme to these three things and how I made them possible was that it takes a lot of the deep inner work to shed layers of people pleasing, to shed layers of trying to be liked, to shed the level of trying to fit in the ego work that can show up around, maybe this won't land that well. And what does that mean about me? And learning to deeply trust yourself. And that is why I always teach mindset in any course or program that I run. And depending on the program or the course or whether it's one-on-one, it is so different. It is so many layers. There are so many different ways you can work through this stuff. And like I shared, Everyone is always working through it. So even if you feel like I've done the shadow work before, Jess, got it sorted. Guess what? I'm going to stretch you to that next level and you betcha your mindset's going to have to come with you to that next level as well. But it also requires a deep understanding of consumer psychology and marketing strategy to actually underline what you're doing to create real change in action. Because we can be sharing whatever the hell we want, But if it doesn't land in a way that people are going to receive and then want to take action from, then it's not going to be as potent. And so when we can combine both of these, it gets to be so transformational. And these are things that I not only just teach on, these are not just random things that I learned at university or throughout my marketing career or someone taught me on a random webinar. These are things that I've combined all of my expertise in those areas and tried them and lived them and breathed them in my own business so that I can bring you these learnings, so that I can teach you how I did it, but not in a way that 
I did it exactly this way. So you need to do it exactly this way. That is not my vibe at all with any of my programs. So I hope you take this and really start to lean into what do I want to do? How do I want to market and sell my business? And start showing up, start bringing that energy and start selling every day because you run a damn business. So why the hell not? So I'm going to leave that with you. I hope you have the most amazing week and I have so much more to share with you on this podcast. There are some big changes coming to this podcast as well, which is really such a deep integration of the journey that I've been on over the last six months. And so if you've been listening over the last six months, it's all going to come together. I'm going to do a podcast episode around that specifically as well. So stay tuned for that and stay tuned because I am pulling together the most impactful, transformational, marketing, sales, vibey kind of three-week deep dive mastermind. We are going to go really, really deep and fast in these areas that are literally the foundations to building a business because without an audience and without sales, you have no business, right? (laughs) So I am so lit up by this. I'm going to be sharing so much more. So make sure you keep an eye out and enjoy the rest of your week. See you on the next episode.